What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I am here today with episode 129. Kind of crazy when you think about it. When you go back to OG Naruto, we were only six episodes away from the end of the entire thing. Then we were getting ready to move on to Shippuden. But Shippuden is very different because it has a lot more episodes. So it's crazy because in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, we're almost finished with Shippuden and... No. <laughs> we have a lot more to be going through in regards to ship it in. So I'm kind of on a binge just now. I'm really enjoying it because the pacing's kind of picked up. And also I'm getting to spend a lot of time with Jiraiya, which concerns me because let me just tell you why. Anytime I get to spend time with one of my favorite characters, Asuma, dead, okay. I, right, I just want to get this out here into the open. I don't think, and I'm going to regret saying this, and this is why I'm not reading my comments at the moment because I don't want spoilers, but I don't think they would do anything to Jiraiya. He's too big a character as far as I'm concerned, and if they were going to start killing off some major characters like that, I believe that that's going to happen well into like episode 400 and something. Do you know what I mean? Like. You would have to end Shippuden by killing off characters like that. So I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going with the whole plot armor thing just now, like with Sasuke versus Deidara. So that's what I'm going with. So I'm not too concerned if I'm being brutally honest with you guys. But for that same reason, I'm not reading my comments because I don't want someone to let it slip that something bad might be happening. I'm well aware that he is going to do some recon. We're getting a lot of episodes about him just now, so I think he's going to have a fight, but I think he's going to be just fine. Oh, I need to touch wood. <laughs> we love you, Jiraiya. <laughs> Don't hurt the toad, okay? Don't do this to me. My heart will break. You will watch it happen. I will break, and I will probably then take a break from Naruto if that was to happen. Anyway, don't forget to hit me up over on my Instagram to follow me. Also, check out my YouTube channel, things like that. Let's go ahead and delve on into episode one, two, nine. ASMR in the rain. Froggy, froggy. What? I did not know that Jiraiya was able to do that. <laughs> Well, infiltration accomplished. Actually, it was easier than I thought. Oh. Perhaps too easy. He's made it! Someone has circumvented my reign. From the feel of his chakra, he's very powerful. Okay, I know it said in the last episode that those three kids died, but they look like two of them. There's no way. There's no way. And they come from the land of the rain. Oh God. Oh, come on. Grannies know everything about gossip. I don't think I've seen your face before. Not from around here, are you? No, I'm not. I'm a traveling writer. I journey around from place to place and write about cuisine from wherever I happen to be visiting. So you want to give me some info, honey? <laughs> now that I've had one, they're amazing. Yes, I know. Aren't they tasty? You know what? <laughs> Granny's got an ego up in here. This village is no longer plagued by war or any other discord thanks to the efforts of Lord Payne. We're all very grateful for what he's done. Lord Payne? Lord Payne's our leader. Your leader? What happened to Hanzo of the Salamander? Huh? I said Hanzo of the Salamander! I don't know if you should be shouting that just now. So did Pain kill Hanzo? So they like Pain? They know about him here. That's Lady Angel. Didn't you know? They say if you hang an origami of Lady Angel at the door, your shop will always have good fortune. An origami? That's what she tried to give Tsunade. That's what the kid tried to give Tsunade. It has to be, it has to be. The Hidden Rain Village used to be led by Hanzo of the Salamander. So where is he? Looks like I'm going to need to check this place out very thoroughly. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's literally... Oh, Jiraiya! And I think I should start at Make Out Club Battle! <laughs> Come on! I suppose they'll give him all the information he needs and he'll get a good time. 
You have really good taste for picking me to sit with you. Well, Tezuna, you remind me of someone that I know. You look just like her. Even your names are similar, so I couldn't help but request your company. Are you comparing her to Tsunade? No way, I don't see it. I think it was Hanzo of the Salamander who was looking oh, for- shh. You mustn't talk about such things here. Oh? And why is that? If they hear that you're one of Hanzo's old associates, then you're gonna be killed. Ooh! Oh, well, that's disturbing news. Yeah, why? The leader of this city, Lord Payne, is a very strict and unforgiving ruler. Are you telling me you're married? Jiraiya, come on! Lord Payne uses his jutsu to make it rain all over this village. And then the rain actually tells him what everybody in this entire place is doing. Oh, so he's pretty insecure, huh? Excuse me a minute. There's a bird outside, and if she dies right now, we know why. I'm coming home now with a present. Yeah, right. It's probably something from that lame gift shop by Shibuki Bridge. Oh my god, please don't kill her for speaking to Jiraiya. <sighs> oh. What a sad piece of writing. <laughs> oh my god, I thought that was an explosion! I thought it was Daedara! <laughs> When I stop the rain, ferret out the intruder with your jutsu. Leave it to me. Are you ready? On it. Oh my god, no. Remember they said that pain has never lost? You stay away from Jiraiya, you stay away. Didn't you tell your wife you were heading straight home with a little gift? <laughs> it's okay, this is an emergency mission. I never heard of drinking being an emergency mission. It is if you're Jiraiya. <laughs> That's funny, Jiraiya's trying to get information about them, and they're gonna just come straight for Jiraiya anyway. Maybe he's doing something that requires a lot of power. But if it keeps on raining like this... Hey, you watch what you say. Lord Payne gives so much of himself for all of us in this city, and you know it. Oh my god, they are completely manipulated by him and everything. What a shame. You two guys have an absolute enormous stroke of luck tonight. Because this evening, the both of you get to enjoy our grand opening special. We do? Seriously? So what is it? Tell us! It's a little thing I like to call the Club Frog Torture Special. Ah! <laughs> hey! Who the hell are you? I'm the one asking the questions here. But he must know! That pain is listening at all times. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What? Just give it up, you two. Do you remember that from when they caught up to Itachi? What? <laughs> okay, does that make him undetected by going into the water? Oh my gosh, a new opening. Don't watch, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, but I'm gonna listen to the song. Okay, it's a good song, I really like it, actually. I don't like pain, however. So he's got the same eyes as one of those three kids. Uh-oh. He stopped the rain. I would love a jutsu that meant I could make Kona, it rain. Do it. Right. It's her! It is them! Because of the origami, it's a hundred percent them! So then surely they don't want to hurt Jiraiya. Do you know what I mean? You're inside the stomach of a toad. <laughs> no matter what you may try, you'll never be found here. No one will ever come to your aid. What are you gonna do with that feather, huh? I'm gonna tickle you to death. Now tell me all about your leader, Pain. <laughs> Start talking. I won't talk. But it's so tickly. <laughs> <laughs> if the both of you refuse to talk, then I'll use my jutsu and flog you into frogs. I would start talking if I were you. Do it. Do it now. Flog and frog. Do you get it? Kaka! <laughs> Freaking Jiraiya, oh my god. Then I guess I have no choice. Ninja art! Toad transformation! Oh, no, don't! 
I hope that you can transform back from being a toad! You bastard, that's not fair! All right then, I guess you're next. Come here, little toad. Just tell him what he needs to know, Payne's not listening. But what did you mean by, that's what people say? Actually, nobody really knows very much about Lord Payne, he's a mystery. What do you mean by that? They say that he's of Fuma clan lineage. In this village, Lord Payne is considered a god. It's not a question of if he exists. He's always out there, watching over every one of us. He's your leader, isn't he? So why must he hide himself from the people he rules over? For times just like this. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> You're not one of the holdovers from the old Hidden Rain, are you? Just who the hell are you? You really don't know anything at all, do you? Well, that's why he's asking all the questions, buddy. Tell us. Only very few, very lucky foreigners like you ever manage to slip in from the outside. It isn't a concern. What do you mean by that? I had heard this land was going through a civil war. I'm not surprised. This land's closed to the outside. He conquered the Hidden Rain all by himself. So he did take out that guy. I mean, I guess he's never lost. The leader of the Hidden Rain was Hanzo of the Salamander. Everyone in the Shinobi world knows about him. He made it very hard for anyone to come near him. So then how did he die? So how was Payne able to defeat Hanzo? Just what ability does he possess? I already told you. We don't really know anything about him. Become stronger, and then return to fight me again. Well, it's not him that we can fight, but maybe we could fight Payne. And so I, Hanzo, hereby christen you three, the Hidden Leafs Sanin. And he's gone. <laughs> Thanks to pain! That isn't the real reason to fear Lord Payne. Huh? What do you mean by that? What's truly frightening about him is his merciless heart of unbending steel. He has systematically eliminated all who question or threaten his vision. He didn't stop at just destroying Hanzo. Hanzo's parents, his wife and child, his relatives and friends, even their infants. He killed all of them. Wow, he's psycho! It was retribution. It's him! It was retribution because that's what he wanted and I specifically said to not do that. So they didn't die. It's them. His are the works of a god. We couldn't know what he has in his mind. I see. Then enough about your god. At the very least, you must know some information about the Akatsuki. Your pulse is also being measured. And if you lie, I'll know instantly. Now go on, tell me everything you know. Otherwise, you're both gonna spend the rest of your miserable lives eating flies. I can't believe it! I can't believe it! That's... he trained them! That's who it is! Now then, time to hunt the intruder. <gasps> no! Please don't! Okay, I am almost 110% that they are the three kids that Jiraiya stayed behind for three years in order to train. Especially just that one line there that I've picked up where they're talking about revenge. Like, don't cry, we need to get revenge for what they done to us, and we need to bring the fight to them. So the fact that he literally destroyed everything, it's them. It's 110% them. Oh my gosh. Now I can't wait to see what happens when they realize it's Jiraiya. I mean, there's no way they would take out Jiraiya. It's because of him that they got their full potential in the first place, so there's just no way that they're gonna do that. I feel like I just keep telling myself this and I'm like, oh my god. There's still that possibility, you know? There's still that what if. What if. Okay, thank you so much for watching this reaction and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.